Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, well, now that Halo multiplayer is out, we'll go through the best settings on PC to give you the best experience. So we'll go down to the settings or F1, brings up the settings menu. Click over on settings, go over to video. So the default will change of the field of view up to 100. It does go up to 120. So it's really up to personal preference. I'll have it on 100 because I'm on controller. If you're on keyboard and mouse, I usually put it up a little bit higher. Go down to the resolution scale. So if you want a little bit better performance, uh, it will upscale for you if you have it lower than your monitor resolution. So my monitor is a 1440p monitor. So I've just set it to 100 and I'll leave it from there. So you can have it lower at 1080p and it'll upscale. Otherwise, usually I would set it to my monitor resolution and it should be fine from there. Minimum frame rate, I put a 60. Maximum 120, 120 because my monitor is a 144 hertz monitor and I stream and play on the same PC. So if you've got a higher refresh rate monitor, you can always bump it up. If you've got a better video card, you can always bump it up. But I usually leave a little bit of headroom because I stream and play on the same PC. VSync off, uh, limit inactive frame rate is if you've got multiple monitors and you click off to the other monitor, it can drop it down so it's not as... Uh, intense on your machine like you can drop it down to 30 frames i just leave it off uh, down to the graphic settings i put on custom so the aa setting low texture filtering low uh, ambient oculation low texture quality high geometry quality high reflections low depth of field low shadow quality low uh, lighting quality low Volumetric fog quality low, cloud quality low, dynamic wind low, ground cover quality low, effects quality low. We put a lot of them on low so we get a lot better frame rates. But if you do want it to look pretty like for the campaign which comes out next month, you can always put it a bit higher. Uh, effects quality low, decal quality low. The animation quality is on auto. So it's either auto or max. I thought I'll just leave it on auto because I don't want it to hinder the experience uh, while I'm playing and streaming on the same machine. But if you want the, the better visuals, you can always put it on maximum. Terrain quality, low. Simulation quality on high. So that's one we, we changed. It was on ultra, I've changed it to high. But if you find that you can your machine can push a bit higher, you can always push a bit higher or I put mine on high and I'm still getting a good good high frame rate for my machine and flocking quality on low Hasting computers unchecked and that looks like all the bits that I have had to change and if you want uh, the FPS counter it's over in the UI tab uh, we want the HUD on and then we've left all the defaults with those and there's an FPS counter we've checked and network stats we've checked so that way while we're in game we can see what the fps rates are as well as what the network stats are while we're playing in case we want to see what's going on so that's everything that we need to change to get better frame rates in halo infinite multiplayer if you do find it helpful feel free to hit the like button if you uh, enjoy the content hit the subscribe button it helps us out a lot and uh, enjoy the multiplayer see you guys